रेडियो वन ऑफ रशिया वन ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट एट एफ एम पर मैं हूँ आरजे भावना आपके साथ और आज का मेरा गौरव है कि आज का कार्यक्रम एक खास मुलाकात में मैं आपकी मुलाकात करवाने वाली हूँ प्रोफेसर चिनप्पा रेड्डी से प्रोफेसर चिनप्पा रेड्डी फॉर्मर एडवाइजर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश और साथ के साथ चीफ पैटर्न है नेशनल एसोसिएशन ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट साइंसेस बहुत ही खास काम इन्होंने किया है स्पोर्ट साइंसेस में सो हम इनका वेलकम करना चाहेंगे रेडियो वाला प्रश्न वाले सब पॉइंट ऑफ फैम के स्टूडियो में आई एक्सटेंड हार्डी वेलकम टू यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच वेरी नाइस ऑफ यू प्रोफेसर चिरप्पा व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स साइंस हाउ वुड यू एग्जैक्टली रेट आवर कंट्री इन स्पोर्ट्स साइंसेस एंड डू यू रियली थिंक वी आर प्रोग्रेसिंग अहेड यू आर आस्किंग मी अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द ग्रास रूट यस अनफॉर्चूनेटली वी आर नॉट स्टार्टिंग द ग्रास रूट we are starting the universities we are starting the elevation of sports people we we are uh, honoring them once they get the medal but we are not thinking how to get that medal if you think about the country like china or uh, japan they start initially talent identification from the school level the physical education teacher identifies the talent while afterwards he will be trained by the coaches if you are not identifying the talent how do you identify the talent is a question the more participation that comes why you will i you will be able to identify the talent what is the participation and majority of the people are from schools if you look at the school at the initial level find out the talent from the initial level appointing the number of physical education teachers today unfortunately 70 to 75% of the schools are not having the physical education so we only think about the medals and start universities universities are not the basis for the for talent identification the talent identification should come from the initial stage this is what i feel personally having seen the country like japan having seen the country like china having seen the country like russia this is my feeling personally such a valid point he has mentioned that i think if we want to have great athletes or if we need very good sports persons the only requirement is identification of talent right from childhood but there are a lot of things that we can still do as a country to grow professor napa there's a very very valid thing that uh, the talent has to be recognized right from childhood but at the same time if we focus on academics it has to be i think inculcated right from childhood how does one focus and how does one actually realize which students have the talent yeah we have to part when the participation is going on we can pick up the talent because for example like you few names the mp ganesh who was the indian captain yes. when the gold medal was won for india three times he was the captain he was first running uh, in 100 meters the physical education teacher while he was studying in st anne's at bangalore saw him running fantastically with 10.6 seconds so gave him the stick to run the distance he ran the same distance with same stick also then he took converted him from playing to 100 meters running 100 meters to the hockey team he successful man who elevated himself so that type kind of talent which is available to the children should be identified then you want to coach it by the coaches yes. then you want policies and then tournaments They, they're all simultaneous which come but first thing which is to be identified is by the talent yes and that talent which to be identified should not be stopped by parents because many of the schools today what you see are not having the playgrounds at all and why is there was scope for identifying the talent this is my feeling because i've been observed having served in this field for past 50 years and today uh, what we are talking is about uh, every state is thinking about sports university but not sports schools when you are talking about sports schools i want to emphasize that even our playgrounds have vanished yeah, yes. if you see nowadays we are living in societies we are living in villas but at the same time we do not have place where actually these talent can be identified so what exactly the change of lifestyle the technology the entire concept of mobile phone and games gaming has this also made students go away from sports science yeah exactly because government policy is there that there should be 5 acres of land with uh, the multi, not multiple stories 5 acres of land for a school but it is slowly uh, diminishing yes when we were all children we used to be the ground minimum one hour every day yes and this, though there was no sports culture our in our parents but they used to encourage you participate in the games at camp 
and there was a compulsory attendance for children. Today, what you see is the beautiful buildings without their playing Yes. And how do you expect a child to grow by himself? And particularly, there is no sports culture among the parents. And what you see is very every corner people playing cricket. It has gone down to the level of playing cricket. And what I observe is, it is uh, the, in India, what we are not thinking is the grassroots level development. Yes. Which should start even now. Select the people from the grassroots level, train them properly, polish them properly, participate them in abundance them. Let there be a surety for the child. If I play for my country, there is no problem for my life, throughout my life. Yes. You see number of players who have played for the country, today what they are struggling. Yes. And if you see same thing like China, the, the country will take care of the children. Once you are good in gymnastics, once you are good in swimming, once you are good in table tennis, they will take care of everything about you. There is no bother, uh, bother for parents. Yes. And your parents love to spend uh, the children for the sports. It is not your choice, it is the choice of country which is not happening in So India has this problem and if you have seen a lot of our sports person, once they are away from the games, the mainstream games, uh, ideally they end up actually becoming nothing. What do you exactly think can be done for them? You should utilize their services for such kind of things like starting an academy, coaching because no one can play throughout his life. Yes. Not, not, not possible to play for anyone. Having, we take my example, not possible for me to serve uh, for years together the, because it's an academic way I can talk but practical way is difficult so what we have to do is the after the play complete play there must be a pension today you see pension is given to MLA yes. pension is given to MP pension is given second time third time if you are contesting is getting pension why not you give the same pension for a man who represents your country yes. you give a lot of medals when he comes a lot of claps when you give once he gets the medal but if he doesn't get the medal you don't uh, sponsor him, you don't encourage him. But how many of them will get the medals? So ideally I think uh, coaching or probably moving them into educational institutions or places where they can be mentors is a very great idea that will not only motivate students and motivate the rest of the people to come towards sports but I think it will be a great avenue for them to have a livelihood. Now let's talk about development. When we are talking about sports, we are also talking that there are, there's a lot of development in sports. But at the same time, what I feel is when our sports people represent India in the other countries, they come back and say we have lack of training and we have lack of uh, resources. Is that really true? No, it is not correct because a lot of fitness. When you see the game like hockey today, earlier we the, many people used to play on gravel court. Today facilities are really good. But fortunately, unfortunately, we do not have the fitness to play for the time prescribed. A one hour to play, we do not have that kind of play. That training is necessary here. Uh, as you said for the earlier question, today you see P.T. Usha who represented the country. Yes. She is running an academy sponsored by government. Though it is a private land which she has taken, it is sponsored by government. You see in Hyderabad, the Palal Gopichan. It is uh, land is given by government. He is running his own academy. You see Sonia Mirja. Yes. She is running her own academy. These kind of people who played for the country should be given a facility by the government given land encouragement so that they can produce at least one among them in their own way in their own way equal to them though not above them at least equal to them this is what i feel so sport as you said it is developing in the country in a different way there is no coordination from all the people as you said there should be a cooperation in a country like india china is bigger country than india yes it is not like a small country many people say india is a very big country with so much no I do not accept because I haven't seen China for thrice. Yes. I believe that the government policies should be made compulsory for the children to identify who you is having the medal. Then only it is possible to get the medal. It is not a medal getting, it is not one day planning. It needs minimum 10 years plan. Yes. So plan start now. I am happy that 2020 policy has, which has come as education policy by Pradhan Modi ji is an excellent policy where every student has to involve himself in the physical activity. Yes. One very valid question. You have witnessed more than 100 conferences, international and on national level. You come back enriched with a lot of knowledge. How do you actually facilitate the rest of the Indians with all this knowledge? How do you exactly think we can actually bring up more sports in our India? Madam, nowadays it is all research oriented program. 
we learn a lot on the ground many people how to improve their talent is known in this academic work yes. we we do the research on academic affairs to felicitate most of the people who who excel themselves in sport that's how we concentrate on that for example in gopichand academy we go there for the fitness programs fitness programs to see and most of the children who are there are not aware about the science so the coach will teach them about the importance of each muscle for the teacher apart from playing badminton they also put him in recreational activities outside for like swimming like yes. gymnastics yes. or all this will also attract them to involve more in their life so this kind of academic affairs which has become now these are all research oriented our research which we will take in the classroom for example many of the students will learn in the classroom about biomechanics how to implement them on the ground is the duty of the physical education teacher Oh, okay, that's wonderful. In fact, one last question. There are a lot of listeners that are listening to you through Radio Mana Vaishnav, and one very important message that you would want to impart to all the youngsters to actually adapt sports in their life. I say, don't play for livelihood. Play a game in the real spirit of game. Life is a big play field by itself, my dear young children. Play for the satisfaction of you, out of which your talent will come out. Make it a habit that. fitness a way of life play a way of life i wish the youngsters to kindly participate in this level and do not think about getting the medals participation is more important than getting the medals thank you so much sir for spending your valuable time in speaking to our listeners it's my pleasure to be with you thank you very much madam stay tuned to the dimana prashna on 7.8 fm feel good feel life